Hi, I'm Erica Gamma with InDesign Secrets, and in this video, I want to show you the color theme tool in InDesign. It's a great way to bring in a color palette from somewhere else. I'm really bad about coming up with a color combination, but I often see combos that look good together in images, and this tool lets me bring them into my InDesign document super easy. The color theme tool lives in the tool panel alongside the eyedropper tool. If you click and hold, it's actually just underneath here. And if you're familiar with the eyedropper tool, you know that you can sample colors from your images and objects in your document. So I'm going to bring in an image and just place it on the page. And we're going to grab some colors from that. We can grab the eyedropper tool and simply click on the image and the color that it hits on will be loaded into the colors panel. So as I click on that, we can see that it changed over here in the color panel. Now my eyedropper is a filled eyedropper. It's ready to put that blue somewhere else, but we don't want that. I just want to keep sampling new colors. So I need to hold down the Option or the Alt key to get it back to the empty eyedropper. So I can click on these different colors until I find one that I like. And if I do find one I like, I can come over to the color panel and choose Add to Swatches. So I can add those individually. Now that's the eyedropper tool, but the color theme tool does even more. I'm going to click and hold on the eyedropper tool and bring up the color theme tool. And I'm going to simply click somewhere inside this image. And when I do, it brings up this palette that has five different colors in the combination. Now it grabbed five random colors from the image, which is pretty cool, but you don't really have a lot of control over which colors end up in that palette. If you want to get more specific in the colors that end up in there, you can actually do something like zoom in on the object, and then holding down the Option or the Alt key to empty the eyedropper so that we're picking up a new color, I can click and drag across a small portion of that image and then five colors from that selection will actually be loaded into my palette. So I can continue to move around until I find one that has a lot of variation or just the colors that I'm hoping to find in here. So let's drag across here. We'll get a nice variety. Now that looks great. It ended up with some very bright colors that I wasn't expecting. So I can click this little right arrow just to the right here, and that brings up a list of these different color combinations. They're the same colors, but they might be muted. They're deeper versions of it. This one's colorful, bright, they look pretty much the same, although you notice it grabbed different colors. So you can come up with a few different color combinations by choosing from this list here. Let's go with the bright. Now that I have the palette that I like, I need to actually add this to my document. So I'm going to open up my swatches panel, and I'm going to come over here to this next icon, and this lets me add the colors to my document. So I'm going to go ahead and just click and it's going to add a color group. It added it bright theme because we chose bright. And there are the colors that are in that document. And a little side note on the color mode, it will bring in the color in whatever color mode your image was created in. So in this case, I placed a PDF that was ready for print. So it's set to CMYK. So my colors came in as CMYK. I can always change those by double clicking on them and changing the color mode. All right, so we added the whole set, but maybe we only want one specific color. Maybe we just wanted to add the uh, the red that came in. So to do that, I need to select the red and then come back to the same Add icon, but then Option or Alt click on this icon to add just the red to the swatches. Now in this case, I had already added it, so it just duplicated it inside this color group. But I did notice there was a green that showed up in one of these other options. In the dark, there's this green. So let's click on that and then Option or Alt click on the icon to the right, and it adds that green to the group as well. And finally, you can take this entire color theme and add it to your current CC library. If you're not sure which one is current, go to the Windows menu and open up your CC library panel. And in here we can see which one is our current library. In this case, I do have one called Color Themes. I'm just going to hit this last icon, which lets us add that to the CC library. So I'll click on that. It drops it in here. It dropped the whole entire palette in here. And we can even do something like rename that. And now it's in our CC library, and I can access it across my Creative Cloud apps. In a future video, we'll look at the Adobe Capture app, which lets us grab color combinations and create color themes from objects that we see out in the real world using our smartphone. Well, I hope you found this tip helpful. And if you want thousands more tutorials and articles on InDesign, be sure to visit InDesignSecrets.com. There you can sign up for our free InDesign Tip of the Week. Thanks for learning with us.